Okay, so we just took it out of the oven. It's been baking for about five hours and cooling for about two. Um, you gotta take it out of the mold while it's still warm, I guess. It's just easier to take it out of the mold that way. That's just what we've been told. So now we gotta unscrew it and uh, it should be relatively quick to open, hopefully. I know, right? I totally should have gotten one of those. It's tough for me to get off. Shut up! Mario's is a lot quicker at this than I am. I just picked the hard ones. That's what it is. Yeah, yeah you can get those. I didn't do anything. Oh, and by the way, our table is not dirty. It is permanently like this. Yes, we didn't clean it at all because we're videotaping anything. <laughs> this is resin. <sighs> all right. We have popsicle sticks and screwdrivers and towel. We were uh, relatively novice when we built these and didn't put in Primarchs. That's completely our fault. So, if you happen to build fiberglass molds, make sure to put in Primarchs. Um, it lets you split them after the fact. Uh, for me, I'm going to be using a screwdriver and probably breaking every rule of mold making and just kind of forcing this thing in here. Do as we say, not as we do. And this is how we opened the body mold as well, only it took like three hours. Well. And about a thousand popsicle sticks. If you don't own a craft box of uh, popsicle sticks, get some. Make sure. There's really nothing you can't do with a popsicle stick. Um, you might see steam escaping. That's um, normal. Normal. The mold is actually still about 100, and, about 100 degrees or so right now. Um, this just makes it easiest to get the uh, material to release from the mold. It uh, has a tendency to stick if it cools. Oh yeah, we tried to clean up those. <laughs> I think it's called a seasoned mold at this point. <laughs> yeah, that's just opening. So, now that it's released all the way around, um, Alice is going to spread talc powder in here. It's, uh, we buy just straight talc. Um, you can... You can use baby powder too. Baby powder will also work. It's the same stuff, just no sense. The hardest part about this whole process is the flashing. Uh, it's all the extra material that's squished between the sides of the mold. Uh, it has a tendency to uh, stick 
uh, to one side or the other and it never chooses the same. So, split the mold open real quick. You kind of just got to pick one side and push all the flashing to that side. It's kind of like working with a really big rubber band. And almost done. The real problem comes down at the bottom of the glove actually, where it uh, has a chance to adhere to one side. It, uh, you can actually tear out the bottom of the glove. Which is definitely not what we want here. No, those spikes are, they kind of do what they want. You just want to be really careful where you're working it. Um, we never really split it very far until we're 100% sure that it's fully released. Mm -hmm. You don't want to rip anything. Yeah. In this case, um, the uh, bottom edge, trying to block the camera, the bottom edge of the glove adhered to the outside of the mold, so it just takes a there you go. quick work and Excuse voila. Me. Lift it up. Brand new glove. So throw some talc at it real quick, make sure, remove any adhesion. And moisture. Yep. The other side. So we will. Uh, you'll notice the glove mold has a uh, pipe in the bottom it's to uh, ease the release of the uh, mold. Just like we did flashing before, now we have to go through and remove from the other side. Uh, so let's see if we can get this thing here. So. We're going around just very carefully, help get the flashing removed. Um, powder it so it doesn't adhere to the actual glove. Um, it'll roll over and bond to itself, which is uh, definitely not what we're looking for here. All right, seems pretty good right now. So. Go ahead and see if we can pull this bad boy out. Real gently here. Looks like it came loose on the fingers just fine. Cool. So. The browning is normal. It's from Martin Bolds. Yeah, we, uh, I don't know if it's us or something, but uh, foam is definitely fully cooked, nice and springy. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with the foam latex, and the coloring will be covered up with Here, the paint. How's it look on the camera? It looks good. All right. And then we'll cut the flashing off and seam it and uh, take it off the hand mold, but we're not going to show that because that takes a little while. Yeah, we're, we're going to leave that part out here. Yeah. But, uh, there you go. That's what... Uh, Several days of hard work and five hours of cooking will do for you with uh, foam latex. Yep. And that's that.